Hi Crystal Comets, this is Miss Corona and today we're going to have a little tutorial on how to find a good fit book on Destiny Discover. So first, we're going to log in and our username and password is going to be your library card number for your username and that same number is, is going to be your password. And your library card number is your lunch number. It's one in the same. So your username, and mine is gonna be a little different. And then we're gonna click submit. Okay, so now that we are logged in, your it's going to look like this. So some of you are just picking books from this screen right here. And that is not what we're supposed to do. These are just books that I just added to our library. And some of these books may or may not be a good fit book for you guys. So we're going to start, I'm going to show you a good way to find a good fit book for you. So you see search options right here. We're going to click right here. And your teacher is going to let you know what levels you guys are in. So let's say your teacher tells you, you are at between a 1.4 and a 2.2. So we're going to start our reading level at a 1.42, and then we're going to click 2.2. So we're going to look for books in, the, in these levels, and then we're going to search. So all the books that we have in our library that are between these levels are going to pop up. So like this one is a 2.1. My highest level is a 2.2. So that's right underneath my level. So that's a perfect fit, a good fit book for me. And then this one is a 1.5. Again, it is a good fit book for me. So all these books are going to be a good fit. And we have a lot of books. So we have a lot of books to choose from. So you can search that way. And of course, sometimes you're thinking, oh, that's this is a lot of a lot of searching. So we can go we can go right over here and let's say I want to find a series. And we're looking for books in ABC. And we're going to click that. And let's say I want to find books, uh, the, the a Little Golden Books. So I click here. And I find all the books there, there are that are a Little Golden series. They're going to be right here. And this is 2.1, 2.1, and 1.5. So there's different ways. If you don't want to just, that's a lot of books to choose from. You could also do by genre. Um, and let's say you want to look for books uh, in uh, ghost stories. And it says that we only have one ghost story book. Oh, let's see what that is. Oh, Hot Rod Hamster and the Haunted Halloween Party. And that is a 2.0. So again, that's going to be a good fit book for me. Let's, um, let's say we want to do graphic novels. Oh, 
Let's do humorous fiction. It says we have 43 of these. So these are 43 of our funny books. And they, these are all it. So these are going to be a good fit book, and uh, you could you could play with this um, to make it easier for you to find that perfect book for you. So let's go back to Destiny Discover, and I want to show you these little this little green in on the books. So when it has a little green triangle on the books, that means that the book is available and these are going to be here in the library. And when it ha it's, has a red out triangle, that means that that book is checked out to someone and it's not available, but you can still put it on hold. You can place it on hold, and when it comes back into our library, you're going to be the next in line to get that book. So you that is an option. Now, on the very bottom, we have these ebooks. All these ebooks with this little symbol are ebooks, and these ebooks you can check out, and you can start reading directly from your Chromebook. You don't have to um, wait for a book. That book is going to instantly show up on your Chromebook. So if you want to go this route, this is a good way to start reading right away. And we have a lot of titles to choose from. And that is probably a uh, um, that is how you'll know it's a ebook blue triangle symbol and when it's out red and when it's in it's going to be in green oh so again we're going to go to options and our search op options remember if you moved up and your teacher says you've done a great job and you've moved up in level we're going to change these again to whatever level um, your teacher says if you're a 1.9 now and to a to a 2.7 and we search we're going to find all these good fit books that are perfect for your level And remember, we are looking for this number right here. Accelerated reader, we can look, if it makes it easier, we can look at these numbers right here. This is going to be your level, and this is going to be the points that you get from reading this book. So, I hope this little tutorial helps you guys. Oh, and let me show you another thing. When you place your books on hold, um, and let's say, let's go back to searching a good fit book. When you place your book on hold, we're going to click on this hold button. Make sure that it's clicked. And now I have four books over here and I can look. These are going to be all the books I have on hold. So I click on this, that, and it'll tell me that I have these books on hold. So these little three lines, we're going to click on here, and it'll tell you if I have favorites. Uh, these are one of my favorite books, Matilda. And these are the same book. So Matilda must be one of my favorites because I have it twice. So this, these are going to be your favorites. So in order for you to click um, to find a favorite book, we're going to... Uh, let's say Alice the Fairy. This is to hold. And it'll tell you unable to place a hold. Why? Because the limit is, um, I exceeded my limit. So I can't put any more books on hold. But right here, this little favorites, if I click favorites, 
it'll go to my favorite added, my favorite list. And I'm gonna go back to these lines. And these are my favorite books. And now Alice the Fairy is in my favorites. What? Let's say I don't, you know what? Um, I'm older and I'm not in, in first grade anymore, second grade, and I'm in sixth grade now. And I don't think Alice the Fairy is one of my favorites anymore. So I just unclick, click on favorite. And it's not my favorite anymore. I got rid of it. So I'm going to get rid of un Matilda because let's just do one Matilda. You know what? Let's just get rid of it. It's not one of my favorites anymore. So that's a little tutorial on how to utilize um, Destiny Discover. So we're remember, options. And we're going to click on that. The little pop-up is going to, uh, pop-up box is going to uh, show up. And we are going to put our levels. Remember to ask your teacher what your levels are. So you can put, type in your levels, your starting level and your ending level. All right, guys. Keep on reading and I'll see you. in the library have a good have a good one bye